no wind. A little call out. 63 right now. Yeah, just going to do some taxi testing here. Alright, so this is just going to be um, a, uh, just an easy run up, or run down the runway. Nothing spectacular to start out with. Just take it easy. Feel the uh, difference in the power on the engine, also to the tune, because the throttle performs a bit differently now. And I still need to kind of adjust the tune a little bit to make it a little bit more uh, linear through the power curve. A 
Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. You can't do that in any other plane. <laughs> or at least not the ones I've flown before. That was easy too.
Uh, now the temps have come up a little bit. Not sure if I'm getting the nose well up there, but I, that time I took it to, I think I saw 80 knots, you know. I know my airspeed's reading high, so anyway. Oh, 
Ja. So I decided to give you guys an extra video this week, uh, mainly because um, taxi testing like this generates a lot of video, and I didn't want to have a 45 minute or hour long video on Friday. Uh, so here's what the run looks like from today, or the runs, I did lots of them. And I'll just zoom in and I'll just show you the last one just so you can hit, see how the power was being delivered there um, for the last run. And as you can see, Compared to doing a static run, I actually got some more boost, so, so 46 PSI there, so getting about 32 pounds of boost or so. Uh, temperatures are staying good, EGTs aren't bad there. Uh, fuel flow there was uh, 22.8 gallons an hour there. Uh, RPM was basically set to 3600. So everything looks pretty good on that one. And looking over on the, the fuel pressure there, I sm smoothed out the map a little bit there. But I'm still getting, you know, the maximum 195 um, megapascals. And you see the Lambda is actually looking better uh, with the engine or with the aircraft moving. So not very much below 1.0. So a little bit of smoke I noticed uh, just when you bring the throttle in initially. But after that, um, very little at full power. So that's good. Um, so I guess the cooler temperatures or um, the extra boost or something like that. And the timing needs a little bit of adjustment. I got a little bit of a blip there at the start there and I need to sort out, but the rest of it actually looks really good, nice and flat uh, where it needs to be. Yeah, I just got to fix up this little area there and, and I think it's just the linearization. I need to smooth that out a little bit in that range of uh, 
fuel pressure and uh, and fuel mass and then that'll tighten that up but overall I'm super happy and in fact uh, originally before the tuning I was getting um, 70 miles an hour and 1300 feet or so and today I got 70 miles an hour and 980 feet so that made a huge difference so I'm really happy about that and uh, putting those numbers into my spreadsheet from way back when uh, there's the 3588 rpm and the uh, Gauge pressure for boost was 32 and a half, and the temperature was about 305 coming out of the turbo. And again, 32 and a half there, and 177 after the intercooler. And that throws out a horsepower number of, wait for it, 404 horsepower. Um, that's for the um, 0.326 brake specific fuel consumption. And that translates to 591 foot pounds of torque. And at the prop, because of the 158 to 1 reduction on the redrive, that's 934 foot-pounds on the prop. So super happy about that if those numbers are right, and it feels good. And lastly, I think I've discovered what is causing my uh, erroneous readings on the airspeed indicator. So the static port is uh, right underneath the fuselage at the back there, near where that camera is mounted. And when the prop um, comes up to power and it's pulling a bunch of air past the fuselage, watch the uh, altimeter there on the right hand side. Now it starts pulling a bunch of air past there and that has a, creates a low pressure there, thinking that it's actually climbing. And then that messes up the airspeed as well. So, and you'll see once I take off the power, it goes the other way. So what I'm going to do is just basically disconnect that and let the uh, the static port work from where the forward bulkhead is inside the nose, and we'll see how that goes. Anyway, that's an update for this Wednesday. Uh, I'll have another video out on uh, Saturday or Friday evening, so thanks again for watching.